Hello, thank you so much for clicking my video. And in today's video, I have a wig show and tell from Hair So Fly Shop. The website link to this wig will be in the description box. The wig that I have today is Outre 13 by 6 hand tied 360 front to lace wig in the style Marissa. The color that I have is two and this wig is available in 10 color options. So like I said before, this is a 360 lace frontal wig. The parting space at the top, I would say, is a 13 by 6 frontal parting space. You get a lot of parting space. You get two combs in the front, not too far from the temple. Another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted an elastic band so you could get an extra secure snug fit. And the cap material, I would say, is a stretch fit breathable material. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. I am in love with the hair texture. It is a yakky straight blown out texture. This is how the hairline comes. It comes pre-plucked. It's a synthetic wig, so the knots do not come bleached and you cannot go in and bleach the knots, but you also get baby hairs along the hairline. I was running my fingers through it and I already received some shedding. So far the shedding is light. But off camera, I went in and plucked the hairline. I do have a video on how I pluck my wigs hairline. I also have another video on how I pluck my synthetic wigs, but I'm going to do a updated version. You do not have to go in and pluck the hairline. I'm just showing you guys what I did so you guys know how I got my end results. So the right side is the side that I plucked. The left side is how the hairline comes. This is how the hairline fully looks after I went in and plucked both sides. And this was the amount of hair I plucked from the hairline. Now I'm gonna cut off all that lace because we do not need it. So when cutting off the extra lace, I like to go in and use eyebrow scissors. I'm just taking the scissors and cutting right along the hairline. If you have your baby hairs out, be sure to pull it back so you can see right along the hairline. And I'm cutting in little zigzag motions. Underneath the lace, I applied some makeup powder, but only to the spots that I'll be showing. So that's the parting space and hairline. Here I am. And now it's time for the wig install. If you like my bonnet, I'll leave the link to it in the description box. Okay, I got some nice new fresh meat meal braids. So I'm gonna show you guys what I look like. You guys always ask, what does your braid pattern look like underneath? And I like to keep my braids really small just so my wig can lay really flat at the top. Underneath the wig, I'm wearing a brown stocking cap. And as you guys saw, I like to put on the elastic band first and make sure it's like laying in the nape area. And then I pull the wig forward. The hairline on the wig is a little longer than my hairline, so on both sides, I go in and cut off some of the air tabs. Now that the wig hairline is laying flat on my hairline, I need to get the lace to blend in a little bit more with my skin. So I like to take my NARS foundation. This is just a shade tiny bit darker than me not too dark i take one pump of this on a paper towel i smudge some of the product off so i don't apply too much product on the lace of the hairline and boom i'm just wiping it on I don't use 
usually talk on camera, but it's serious right now. Y'all, this lace looks so good. That's one thing I love about Ultra or just like synthetic wigs. It's something about their lace that's just, wow, wow. Let me, let me finish. I want the front of my wig to be super melted today, so I'm going to go in with some hair glue. Off camera, I thought I was recording this part, but I wasn't. I marked like a line on my forehead, not too harsh, with a lip liner, just so I know where to put the glue. I don't wanna put it too forward and have a lot of glue sticking out in front of my lace. And I'm only applying two thin layers of glue. This next step right here can make or break your install. So when laying the hairline of the wig on the glue, take your time and be sure to stretch out the wig hairline. So when you drop it on the glue, it's not like kind of bunched up or anything because if it's bunched up, you're gonna have lumps on your hairline. After when I put the hairline down on the glue, sometimes there's lace still left in the front. You can go in with a rat tail comb and fill in those little parts that you missed, or you could just cut off the extra lace. For some extra hole and a super more melt, I'm going in with this bedhead hardhead spray and I'm spraying one layer of this on top of the lace. Then I go in with the blow dryer on warm and blow dry it until it's completely dry. For about 10 minutes, I left this bold hold edge band on the hairline of my wig. And just a quick public service announcement. I just want to remind you, all women are beautiful. 
skin doesn't matter hair texture don't matter we are all beautiful in our own way and you don't need a wig to make you more beautiful you're a beautiful queen okay how we looking how we looking oh what rihanna said oh butter that melt is looking real good especially for something that's so affordable I recommend this glue 110 percent it smells so good as soon as I took the band off it's like a burst of lemon scent just flew under my nose but now I'm going to go in and apply a few swoops of baby hairs. I'm keeping it real simple, just applying two little baby hairs on my temple and a little bit of sideburn. My scissors is dull, so I was kind of struggling to cut it. To lay down the baby hairs, I'm going to go in with that Got To Be Glue spiking gel. Well, they call it glue, but to me it's still gel. And I just go in and do my little swoops. It's just in the flick of the wrist. That's how you get that little C shape. Kind of like flick it. I can't explain. I just hope you can watch and learn. If you like how it came out. On top of the lace by the parting space only, I'm going in with some Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 360. This just helps hide the knots on the wig and it also helps the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. I want to show you guys how good the quality of the wig is. I'm going in with a rat tail comb and the comb is going right through. Before I show you guys my end result, quick shout out to this amazing Atlanta hairstylist. Her YouTube channel name is Blue Did It. She inspired me to take a step further with my install and really get it to melt. Follow her and support her. You won't regret it. And tell her that Body by Kara sent you. She also has some online wig classes that I'm going to purchase. So you guys know I'm not stingy with no information. If you love my channel, definitely check her out. all right you guys right here is my end result i really hope you like it because i honestly love it and i'm definitely going to get this wig again i recommend this wig 200 percent. i went from 110 percent to 200 percent love it look how natural it looks and because it's a yakky texture it just lays so smooth and you can see the nice coarse texture in it i love it it's love 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 it the wig luster is low but if you feel like the wig is coming off shiny you could always go in and dim it down with dry shampoo i don't have any dry shampoo on the hair i love how when i take the hair at the side it just looked like a virgin hair wig install and for the price you can't beat it so the length of the wig on me, I would say is no more than 18 inches. My height is 5'6". As for the hair density, to me, it's like a 150% hair density. So that's not too thick, not too thin. My head circumference is 22 inches and I have a lot of stretch cap room left in there. So if you have a bigger head than me, you're in for the clear. If you have a smaller head, you're in for the clear also. I would just recommend making a knot 
at the end of the elastic band and like hooking the adjustable straps as close as possible. When I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing and you can't see my wig cap. And to me, the deeper the parting space, the more realistic the wig look. I love the amount of parting space you get. It's You could do a lot with it. You could do a middle part, a side part. You could do an updo style. You could really go in and do wonderful things with this wig. The hair already come pre-layered for you. Definitely a beginner-friendly unit. The lace on this wig is unclockable once you get it to blend in with your skin. Like, what lace? And then going in and plucking the hairline just makes the install go a step further. I love it, you guys. I can't lie. I love it. I am receiving shedding, and the shedding is medium. So straight out of the box, the hair was already shedding. Plus, I went in and plucked the hairline. So I'm hoping over time the shedding does stop. And by the quality of this wig, I feel like you could get a lot of wears out of it. It's just something about the texture that Otre stepped up on and I recommend. And so far, I have no tangling at all. But in the back, you can see the gray um, lace. I should have went in with some black makeup powder to cover it up. But because it's already on my head, I'm going to try to just go in with some pins to get it to lay down. So the front is looking flawless. The back ain't looking too flawless. It is hot in New York. It is 90 degrees. And I still went outside like that, to be honest. I didn't care. But yes, it is giving affordable cuteness overload. I love it. And I love it way more in the updo style. But once I put that bun in, I was like super more in love, like blown away. My bun ain't the most neatest perfect bun, but I love how it looks with the style overall. And this is it, you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. If you like what you've seen, definitely hit that subscribe button because I have way more wigs coming for you guys. And my wig sale is coming up in about a few weeks, so stay tuned for that. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys, and be safe.